What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Well, go on then. Eject me. I just picked this up. It says eject on it. It's an eject button. I think it was kind of like 10 bucks. I'm actually a little surprised. I don't really think it was a good value. But I really wanted it, and so I sprung for $10, $10 for this little... Uh, it looks like anodized aluminum, and as you might be able to see here, it is anodized like a, a, a red, and it says eject on it in kind of a cool-looking font. I will, I will hand it to them on that. But as you might be able to see, it's just a cap, and it's really just a plug, and it goes into your power accessory port on your car, your cigarette lighter, uh, your 12-volt port, whatever it might be. And so what I'm kind of interested in here is you can see how it's milled. I think these things are maybe just lathed out. You can see we've got a pretty big cap, so it looks kind of like a button. And then we have a ridge right there, which I think will stop it from going any deeper. And then we have an O-ring here, which looks like just a standard O-ring kind of in a, another little slot there. So you could probably replace that. But I think that O-ring is going to be what uh, holds it in place. So it should provide a little resistance. And then it's anodized all the way around. It's kind of nice. I mean, it's it's got a nice little field. You probably can't see it that well. Um, and I would say that uh, the eject on it, I don't know, it kind of feels like it's laser etched and then painted. Now, the reason I got this is I have uh, an accessory port, power port, but it's between my cup holders. And it's one of those things where it has a cigarette lighter in it. And so I'm not worried about it shorting out, but uh, it's probably in the worst place that you could absolutely put it. One, if I'm gonna plug something in it, I'm gonna have it right next to my drinks. But if you do get a little sloppy or the road gets a little harsh and it kinda dumps some liquid in there, I don't want it to go in there. So I thought I'd really get something that's more of a cap to make sure that I don't short that little bad boy out. And I thought, why not get something whimsical like this? Now I will say, if you're really OCD, you can see it has a little bit of a scratch there or wear, so I can see the aluminum underneath it. But uh, that's not going to be seen. And I just thought this would be a little funny if someone looks at it and thinks, oh, there's an eject button when they're putting their cup in there. So let's try it out. All right, so I'm inside my car here and in the Ghibli, here we have the cup holders. And you can see the cigarette lighter is right between them for whatever reason. And that always kind of worried me. I actually do like having this. If you're ever in an emergency situation, uh, you can light a fire and you will miss this, even though... You might be like, ah, I don't smoke, so why would I ever need it? Um, I'm kind of curious if this will fit now. So let's go ahead and try putting this in. And want it lined up here. And push it in. You know what I'm going to say is that in my car, this thing is pretty big. There is just too much of a gap that this O-ring will roll around in there. So, um... This lip up here will keep it from falling all the way in because it's bigger than the hole, but the smaller portion is, is too small. So, you know, I could leave it in there like that, but it's not being held in by anything. And it's more just like a loose cap, which is disappointing. Looks good if I just set it in there like that. But that was not the... That was not the point. The point was hopefully to have something that would prevent anything from getting in there. So I guess the cigarette lighter on the Maseratis is maybe a little thicker and wider <laughs> than most. But so I'll just leave that in there for now. So now you know, but this is what it looks like. Hey, if you want to pick this up, I will put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.